the idea is that the consciousness is obviously something subjective. It gives rise to our subjectivity. Now, if we look at classical physics, we try to keep the subject out of the physics and we succeed, and that's classical mechanics. As you can already see in quantum physics, we have been trying to keep the subject out and we cannot succeed. I mean, you know, people like Wigner would even say that we need consciousness to complete quantum theory. Not many physicists would say that, but Wigner, great contribution to the work he's done, says we need consciousness. But now suppose that the, the, the mind, matter, are different aspects of the same underlying process. And that's what David Bohm called the implicate order. And then from the implicate order, you can, by various ways, explicate some aspect of that at the expense of the others. And this is the lesson that quantum mechanics is telling us, even in, within the standard quantum mechanics. It's saying we can only look at the eigenvalues of these particular operators and not the others. But the others, not that they're there and scrambled up in some stochastic way, but they just don't exist because you cannot put them in that form.